Hey, what's up out there? Back with part two of my latest haul. Still a ton of books to go through here, so bear with me. First up, I got Teflon Funk La Venida. La Venida. This is the second issue that they've released, I think, from Teflon Funk through their website. I opened this up. I did not read it. It's kind of short, but the artwork looks really good in this. Um, I don't know that I even looked into the first one that I showed a couple videos ago, but I would, I, I think uh, artwork-wise it looks really nice. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this book as, in terms of value, but it is kind of tough to come by. I think they only made 500 of these maybe. This is actually the variant cover, and I paid about 12 bucks, 10, 10 bucks for it, 10 bucks. Oh, and they send you these cool, uh, like, uh, ID cards and a sticker. So, kind of cool. Picked that up. Um, I found out about it because I signed up for their mailing list on their website. And then I got an email because they sell out right away, usually, um, when they go on sale. These I picked up off of eBay. And... These are both San Diego Comic-Con Ashcan editions, I believe, of Ninja Turtles 1. The I'm really kind of surprised that these don't go for more. I only paid about $8.50 each for them. And I think they're a little... I think they're undervalued. I, do, I did see one, I think, of this cover going for like 100 Or being asked, you know, somebody's asking 100 for it. I don't know that it's worth that much, but... I could see these being in the $25 range pretty easily. There weren't many online, but uh, I, I saw them for that price, and I thought, you know, I think that's a good value, so I'll pick them up. We'll see if they do anything, put them in the collection, let them marinate. All right, here's a, a Mercenaut book that I knew did not know about, so I watched his last video, Wonder Woman 3, or Wonder Woman... Blackest Night, Wonder Woman 3, the variant cover. Paid 15 for this. It's a good value, I think, at that price. Hasn't really blown up yet. Ryan Sook cover. We'll see if anything comes of it. Um, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't really know too much about it. X-Force, Sex and Violence, number one. You saw in my last... So I got these, these books from the same online seller... And you saw in my last video that I did not have a number one. So I saw that Wonder Woman book, and I, I saw that they had this as well. So I picked that up. A pretty cool cover, Del Otto, in the background here. You might miss that part. Just looking at this in the background, the mirror there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, composition. I paid $5 for it. And I also picked up... Rise of Apocalypse number four for six bucks. It's more than I wanted to pay for that book, but that completes my series of that. So I have one through four. And you might want to keep an eye on these as the next X Men movie comes at the end of May because this tells the origin story of Apocalypse, who is the main villain of the next X Men movie. So I would keep an eye on that, on that series as. We get closer to that X-Men movie. All right, here's a couple eBay purchases. I'll show you the one I picked up second. And I've been wanting this book for a while. Batman Arkham Knight Genesis, number one, the variant. It's another new, new villain of Batman, in quotations. So, I have not read the story, but I did see a spoiler as to uh, the villain. So that's why I put it in quotations as being a new, a new villain. I really like the cover. I think it's really cool. Um, and I don't think you can go wrong with a, a number one variant with, the, with a new bad guy right on the cover. So I paid 11 paid 11.40 for that. But I really wanted this cover. This book from the same seller, same price I paid for this one. Basically, I just split it down the hat, split them down the middle uh, after shipping and everything. 
Iron Fist the Living Weapon number two, the variant. An amazing J.G. Jones cover. J.G. Jones does typically not disappoint, and I really like this. I don't know if this is going to do anything as far as value, but uh, the cover is pretty, pretty cool. And with the, the TV show starting to move forward, I, I, there's nothing TV show related to this specific book, but who knows? Um, you know, it, it can be one of those books where if the show is good, which the Netflix shows have been awesome so far, you know, stuff, random stuff just starts popping up that feature the character for, for no apparent reason get hot. And I could definitely see a book like this doing that. All right. Next up, these were some uh, other online purchases. Here's another one you should keep an eye out for. I think it's probably hit its peak. You know, I had my eye on this book for a while, as I think a lot of people did. Wolverine, number 315 the Susan G. Komen variant. And I mentioned last video that these Wolverine 300 variants are pretty well done. Somewhat tough to find. This one I see more than others. I don't think this one this was an incentive variant. It probably wasn't like the others. But I do see this one selling for... I've seen it sell for about 20 bucks on a good day. Now, I, I think it's getting a little bit... Market's getting a little bit saturated with them now. We'll see um, in the future if that, that price can hold. And I think it could, uh, especially with the popularity of X-23. So I picked that up for just a little bit under 3 bucks. I also picked up a uh, Justice League of America Annual number 2, the first Vibe. You know, with the Flash show. I already did, I already had one of these. I already done had one of these, but I picked up another even at that price because uh, it's starting. Cisco Ramon is starting to be uh, I'm getting a little bit more recognition, I'll say. Um, I also picked up these from the same seller. Finally got a copy of this Del Auto Original Sin Number Two, the Black Panther variant. I paid fifty for that. 1 in 50 variant, if you've been paying attention to the market, this was, did jump up to around 200, settled back down in the $7,500 range. And I also picked up the, the probably the best cover of the series, Original Sin number 7. I paid 60 for this, the Gamora cover, just a, an awesome cover. Um, that's kind of, uh, I think it's an... 125, maybe 150 range. So I did not make out bad on those, and that was all a matter of, of market timing and jumping on it at the right time. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Check out this cover. I saw this, somebody talking about this online, and I agreed with their view on this cover and that it's awesome this is the ultimate number three the 50th anniversary of black panther variant i'm not sure what the uh the ratio on this was might have been a uh one in 20 or 125 i think but i ended up paying um i think it was a one to 20 because i paid about 14 dollars for it might have been 125 i don't know so this is a tim sale now this is really an homage cover to uh, to Frank Franzetta, who just an amazing artist, which is why this cover's so cool. It was um, meant for Black Panther to be put in that silhouette. I also picked up a second print of New Avengers Annual Number One, and like I like I've been preaching this. Uh, Second print cover, different cover, Gabriel Delato, and this is the first page in the story. And the this is the cover with all with the purple colors. I think this is a better cover than the first print. So and Delato did all of the interiors for this issue. So cool cover, you know Delato kind of hot obviously and uh, paid 
Did I say what I paid? Paid about five dollars and forty cent for that one. We'll we'll just stay on this Del Auto train. This is a local shop pickup. Uh, Spider Man number six eight seven. Del Auto variant. He did a nice little end of the earth run of all the variants. This is part six, as you can see. I think this is the best one of the of the series that he did. Um, just a, a really cool composition. Love the love the artwork on it, and I paid uh, six dollars for it. It's definitely worth that. I would honestly, I'd look to find a, one of these if you don't have one because. With the way that the, what, what number is that? Is it six, 667 or 6, 677? The one that's super hard to find, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1 to 100, Del Auto. The way that one is just going through the roof, these ones have starting to got, get noticed a little bit. So I think these, this little run here, and especially this one I'd keep an eye on. Pick it up if you can find it. Also was really happy to find these. Um, which I don't see very often in the wild. So I got, these are the 50 year anniversary covers, variant covers of Amazing Spider-Man 692. This is the 1950s variant. Obviously the beginning of the series when he gets uh, bitten. And I think they were out of, or if somebody had bought the, actually this, let's see, is this the 60s? Might be the 60s. And then the 70s and 80s was gone, which are the two harder ones to find or the more sought after. And I think, I don't know, it might be a decade off. And this is the 90s, and then this is 2000s. I believe that's correct. So um, the, one, the one that seems to be the most sought after is the red cover, which is the Death of Mary Jane. Uh, and then there's another one. I can't remember what that cover is. But... I was happy to find those for ten bucks. They're they're tough to find. I don't see them very often. I also found this in the dollar bin. Monstrous. Now this is the third print. And this has the same cover as the second print, which is going crazy right now. But this is the third print. You can tell by down at the bottom it says third print. Also the color of the title is different. I think second print I think is like a gold. Um, for a dollar, man. Couldn't, couldn't believe that was in the dollar bin. Check this one out, which I picked up. Picked this up before the movie news. And it was just kind of on a whim where I said, you know, I've seen that book online and I want it. And so I looked on a couple online sources. I've never seen it in the wild. But I looked a couple online places and I did find it for about thirty dollars green lantern number 55 the variant awesome lobo cover um you know like i said that i got this just before the movie i could definitely see something happening well let me say this the uh movie news rumors although i guess it's not a rumor because i think they uh signed a writer for it if i'm not mistaken so it doesn't have anything to do again with Origin, whatever. It's just a cool, really cool Lobo cover, which I could see something happening with. All right, next was Wolverine, the best there is. Number one, the variant, Gabriel Delato. Picked that up for twelve bucks. Really cool cover. I finally, finally got a copy of this, and. You might say, well, why are you saying finally got a copy? Well, this is my avatar. I don't know. Years ago, I just picked the uh, the image as my avatar, and it stuck with me. And um, I never owned a copy of the book, though. This is probably one of the the most sought after Scotty Young covers. Not the not the most, but one of the most. I paid eight dollars for it, and that was because I paid a little bit more and when I got it it was damaged in the mail I bought it off eBay so uh, I asked I said sent a message to the seller and I said look this isn't right the way that you package this thing 
What do you want to do? So I ended up getting it for about eight bucks. Uh, also picked this up off of eBay. Batman number 50, the 1 to 100 connecting variant cover. I, I figured you can't go wrong with a, a 1 to 100 Batman uh, 50th issue. Right now it seems to be hovering right around $50. Um, I don't know. We'll see long term if it does much. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Um, all right. So here are some more. Here's a few more books that I got from a sale at a local shop, which I showed last video, but I didn't have them organized well enough. I actually got another copy of that. I paid seven fifty for that one. I also picked up a We Are Robin number one, the variant for seven fifty, with the Duke Thomas news. We'll see if anything comes of that. Um, Duke Thomas rumors, I should say. And I got a, a Spider-Man 700 for 750 as well, which is, let's see, the cover price on this was 8 bucks. which if that came out today, that'd be a $10 cover price. Uh, it's It definitely sells for more than 10 bucks. I always pick them up. I mean, I don't see them below like 20 bucks ever, if even that. So to get that for 750 yeah, that was a no-brainer. Also, I think this was a no-brainer. Justice League number one for $7.50. Uh, now that they're going to do that Justice League movie news, this has started to pick up a little bit. So uh, I think it's a $15, $20 book right now. $7.50. Also, I would, say, I would say definitely be on the lookout for this book. Speaking of the Lobo news. Green Lantern number 141, first appearance of the Omega Men. Paid $6 for it. Definitely a good price, no matter if there's news or not. But I'd, you got to think, what are they going to do if they do make a Lobo movie? Who's going to be involved? Who Who's the bad guy? Is he the bad guy? Um, I don't know. He doesn't really have a girlfriend, I don't think. So what are they going to do with a, a movie besides him just rolling around being a jerk? Um, so Omega Man, I could see definitely being a part of that movie. If that will happen or not, we'll see. But... I think it's a good buy at six bucks. It's not going to go down from that. I also got a Fantastic Four number twelve, the variant four. What did I pay for this? This is a, another Del Auto cover, seven fifty again. FF, sorry, FF number twelve variant. Here's a cool thing that I found in the dollar box. Uncanny X Force. It's just a poster. When I was going through it. You know, it was sitting in the box. I mean, what the heck is this? Some kind of variant cover? It's just a poster. Comic size poster. Uncanny X Force. I love that series. So I always try and pick up uh, obscure variants or whatever when I see them. The artwork on this thing isn't spectacular. I won't say that. But uh, it's a cool, kind of cool little thing for a buck. Oh, speaking of, so here's some more. Stuff I pulled out of dollar bins from that shop. Speaking of Lobo, 52 week 17. You can see up here the origin of Lobo. Uh, you know, why not? Origin book for potential movie character. This thing I don't know anything about, but it was a dollar. Alan Moore, kind of like a solo book, I think. Or a dollar, whatever. DMZ number 14. They did say that they're moving forward with the Scout TV show, I believe. So this is the first preview of Scout before issue number one. And Fantastic Four number 600. Pretty nice. I'd say that's a really nice, really nice Del Auto cover. Um, I've never seen anybody really talk about this, but... I, I love that cover actually. The thing just looks the shadowing on the the shadow the shadowing on the thing looks pretty pretty awesome. Incredible Hercules number 133 start of Amadeus Cho origin uh, Hulk 15 and 16 first cameo and full appearance of the lady or the red she-hawk 
uh, Loki number one picked up a bunch of number ones um, of the Marvel now Inhuman first lash who was on the shield show Iron Fist living weapon and Magneto and this was probably the best one I found Moon Knight for a dollar I'll take that also I picked up the Ultimate Comics all new Spider-Man number one which is the first Miles Morales series this is the polybag version this thing is goes for a few bucks uh, five ten bucks uh, let's see what else I got I got a couple more books there I got a vengeance of moon Knight number one this is the Alex Ross cover I believe for a dollar and definitely keep a lookout on this one too vengeance of moon Knight number nine J Scott Campbell cover it's not a variant this book's been around, it's been known. Uh, I don't think it had really ever taken off too much because it doesn't feature a woman on the cover and that's what usually sells J. Scott Campbell books, but it has started to pick up recently. I've seen it selling for as much as 25 bucks, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I, I typically saw people trying to sell this thing for 10 bucks, uh, 10, 12 bucks, but not that it ever really sold for that. Uh, so, you know, if it's going for 25 now and you see it for 10, I don't know, it might be worth it. I probably wouldn't pick it up still, but maybe you'll find it for cheaper. All right, here was like an online sale of a retailer that was going out of business. I just found through one of the chat boards I'm involved with, and I spent like an hour going through their inventory, and I found a lot of good stuff. Most of these were around like a dollar fifty or two bucks. And I, I got, this was a series that I never really knew about. Um, I got a Deadpool 900. Uh, yeah, that's just a regular cover. But I also picked up the full run of Deadpool Team Up, which there's been some sales of it for like 100 bucks, And it's basically about 15, 16 issues. So that's not bad. And the first two covers are pretty cool, Scotty Young covers. These two I would pick up for, if you can find, for two, three bucks. So I think those two are worth having. Let's see what else I got from this sale. A lot of, a lot of cool, mo I mean, it was all modern stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 700, the third print. Uh, paid $4 for that. Deadly Class, I really like this book. Um... I'm a little bit behind on it, but I've read up through like 15 issues, I think. Uh, I really like it. So I picked that up, buck seventy-five. Deadpool from the new series, eh, two fifty. I mean, it's got a five-dollar cover price, so fifty percent off. I got a True Believers for fifty cents. Let's see, Merc with the Mouth. Always love this series. Uh, Eleven. 10, 9, 8, and 5, the Pretty Woman cover. I paid about a buck fifty each for those. Here's another uh, another kind of run that I recently found out. It's not selling for, it's not too bad uh, sales on it. This is kind of the Black Mirror run, I believe. Although it doesn't start, um, I forget what issue it really starts with. But these are, this is a Frank Avia cover, and then these are all jock covers. Some great, some great covers. That's a Frank Avia. Um, I've seen those runs, I think starting at about 874 up to 880, uh, 880 is the, is the jock, the classic jock joker cover and then 81 is the last issue so i've seen this the run go for like 150 if it has that joker cover but even without it i've seen them go for 50 60 bucks maybe yeah. i don't i don't know maybe uh that black mirror run is kind of it's kind of a classic batman story i guess i haven't read it but i have i know i've seen it around as such um 
Gotham City Sirens. I picked up 19, 15, 14, and 11. All great covers. And like I said, all these are about buck fifty each. Man, I got a ton of books I'm going through here. We're almost, almost halfway. Uh, Hulk 13, Deadpool cover, just a regular cover. Oh man, I, I can't admit, I can't believe I'm admitting I got that. Justice League number 40, the uh, Magic Mike cover. Let's act like we didn't see that. Orc Stain number seven, my first Orc Stain book. Paper Girls. Got a couple spawns, which I'm really happy to get for uh, two bucks each. I think spawn two hundred and two twenty. Great covers, and those are those can go for ten bucks each. Also got a uh, Spider-Man Deadpool number two and three for for uh, two bucks or buck fifty. Two bucks. First prints. Like I said, uh, I think it was last video or two. Keep an eye on that series. Walking Dead 99, I got for 225. First appearance of Dwight. I also got a, a 150 for a dollar fifty. Did not have one of those yet. Figure why not. Uh, Marvel's Greatest Comics, Old Man Logan 66, Wolverine 50 cents. And I got a couple Adam Hughes Zatanna covers, which are pretty nice, 13 and 14. So, got some really cool stuff for. Great pricing. Great pricing. Oh, let me show you this before I forget about it. I usually don't... I do get slabs every once in a while. I usually don't show them. If I do, I don't know why. It's just not really the how my... Um, it's not really how my, my videos roll. So I got a Ultimates... This is Ultimates number... All new Ultimates number three... The variant cover, Soya Um variant. I really like this cover a lot. I think it's got a lot going for it uh, in terms of characters, and the artwork's awesome. She's an up and comer. I don't think there's anything key about this book, but when I looked online, I didn't see any available except this slab, which I got at a great price. Um, I believe it's a 1 in 20 or 1 to 25. So I would, like I said, I, I would definitely pick that up. I've seen some online uh, for about twenty bucks, which I don't think is a bad price at all. But I got, I saw that slab and it was paid under fifty bucks for it. So nine point eight, I can't beat that. Um, moving on, this was from the Wizard World show. Uh, that's. This was probably like, man, two months ago now. Uh, Avengers 144, five bucks. First Patsy Walker Hellcat. I picked up a couple Watchmen that I needed for my run, which was seven and ten. Uh, they were like three bucks, I think. Here's one if you don't ever, if you're not aware. Marvel Age number 97, first real appearance of Darkhawk before his own series paid eight dollars for that it's a tough book to find it's also a very tough to book to find in high grade and let me look this thing over real quick i got like one spine tech on there it's got a little bit of uh spine stress so i think that's a, at eight bucks for that's a great price um some valiant books i don't know why but i just came across this dealer who I, I don't have a lot of these, and I figured, it's, I think it's died down a little bit, so I might as well pick them up now. I couldn't really find a lot of stuff I wanted to buy at this show. Uh, it's, I don't know if it was overpriced or what. I usually don't find a lot. At, this is the second year I've gone. I haven't really found any spectacular deals. Uh, XO Man of War, number four. I paid $20 for that. Yeah. 20 bucks. It is. I also paid 20 for this. Solar number three. First Toyo Harada. Ugh. Oh man, why did I pay? I don't know why I paid. I, I was just itching to spend money, I think. I paid 20 bucks for that too. Shadow Man number one. Um, 
Now, this guy, this guy got out of my money. I couldn't really, like, I'm usually pretty good at talking people down, but this guy wouldn't budge a whole lot. So, um, new X Men 128. If I find these under 15 bucks now, I'm picking them up because they seem to have dropped to that price. And I think there's a future for Phantom X bigger than just the comics. Picked up Guardians of the Galaxy number five. This is limited edition comics variant. It's um, Milo Manara cover. Uh, it's like a store variant, but it was but that stores in the UK. I paid ten bucks for. It. I think that's pretty good. So I paid about what he wanted for those. Oh, I also got uh, a Zatanna Everyday Magic. It's like a near mint minus copy for fifteen bucks. Tough book to find. So I paid about what he wanted for those. I got this one was in the dollar bin. I think he just threw it in. Ninja High School number 38. I don't know anything about this uh, character, but it's um, what's her warrior princess nun, something crazy like that. It's kind of a cult book, and if you look this up online, it um, this is her first appearance or supposed first appearance. It goes for a few bucks. I found that in a dollar bin. Aurelia, Warrior Princess Nun, I think that's her name. So he threw that in, and I also got this one. Actually, I don't know, when it all worked out, I ended up paying like five bucks for this, too. Silver Surfer 44, it's probably like a fine, fine to fine, yeah, about a fine, I think. Newsstand, though, so not bad. So that was all I got at the convention. Like I said, not a great haul. I picked this up on eBay, uh, Batman number 43, the La Mole Comic Con cover. Paid $20 for it. It's, you're not really going to find it much cheaper. There was, I was looking, I was watching it for about a month, and I wanted it, and it wasn't going for any, any cheaper than that, so I figured I'll, I'll bite the bullet. Um, well, I got these online from a seller, too. When I, pay, I paid 11 bucks after shipping. A uh, New Mutants 25 and 26. The cameo in First Full Legion with the TV show coming up. And then I got uh, 27 and 28 with it as well. So it's not a bad price, 11 bucks. Good. The TV show seems to be moving forward. All right, what else I got? X Factor 67. I think I showed that one before as it's kind of a supposed origin story of Cable. I don't know. I don't know that it. I read it. I don't know that it really is. Green Lantern number nine. I got that for a dollar. First tattooed man. Um, X Man number fifteen onslaught. I think I got about seven hundred of those now. I picked up a. Let's see. I'm trying to think of where I got these. I can't remember where I got these even. Um, New Mutants 99 and 100. These are pretty nice copies, especially uh, 100 newsstand. Paid 250 each for those. Um, 99 is the first appearance of Farrell, who, when they started talking about a New Mutants movie, or an, I'm sorry, an X-Force movie, her name seems to come up as possibly being in an X-Force movie with Cable. Uh, these, I, I went to Half Price Books because they had a 50% off, you know, one item kind of sale. And I almost never find anything there. But I did find enough to make it worth my while, I guess. I found the Final Crisis number one, or Final Crisis series. And these are all the J.G. Jones covers. As I said earlier, he usually... This, this Batman cover, man, that's a pretty sweet cover. Um, I paid seven fifty for all these. Eh, Wonder Woman leaves a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure that's Wonder Woman there. It, it kind of looks like Wonder Man. Um, Dark Side. The Supergirl seems to be probably the most sought after of all of the covers. Flash is kind of, it's got a little bit of a goofy look. And Green Lantern. Kind of a classic cover. 
Uh, paid 750 for all those, so a buck each is definitely worth it. I hope you appreciate my critique of all the, the artwork on those covers. This one, this was in with the quarter books, and if you've ever been to Half Price Books, they put some stuff out for a quarter, but they don't bag and board it, and they just put the sticker right on the cover. So, and this thing was in really pretty good condition. Um, I don't know, it's maybe like a fine, very fine. And it's a newsstand, again, for a quarter. I was able to get the sticker off without any issues. So, I guess you can call it a win. Uh, picked this up for a dollar as well there. White Avengers 13, first, um, first appearance of um, uh, this second print variant. New Warriors, first New Warriors who are on the... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Um, picked this up for a dollar there. Hulk, Future Imperfect Part 1. They did not have Part 2. I'm trying to think here. Let's see. I picked up... Jeez. Um, okay. So I picked this one up for two dollars. Superman 775. First appearance of... Um, uh, something black. What the heck's his name? I don't know. It's kind of a, uh, it, it's a, it's a minor key. It's a cool story. I read it. Um, so this is the second print and you really can't tell except for a couple minor things. I went back. I didn't realize there was a second print of the cover. Um, I don't know if I opened it up or if I saw it somewhere else, but I looked down here and I can tell it's a two. So that's the second print. So I went back and looked at my collection and Luckily, I had first print. Uh, you can see a little bit of differences right here, just up in the, the title, but really it's the... Um, sorry, got distracted. Uh, really, it's the, uh, the, the UPC that's going to tell you it's the second print. I also had... They also had one of these for a dollar. Hulk 449. I think this thing is... I'm not sure where I left it in its dingy bag, but I'll probably change that out. But the one thing that I want to point out with this one as well is that is the that's a newsstand. That's a newsstand, baby. Had this one in the collection, direct edition. That's a newsstand for a dollar. So can't beat those those prices. I don't think on anything. Um, I think it's the only time I've ever really found some like really good deals at half price books half price books is like a bookseller that also has comics if you don't have them in your area uh world's finest number 180 i'm trying to think where i got i think i got oh i got these at a show uh 180 you might recognize this cover it was done redone by neil adams recently when they did all those um, cover swipe homages that he did homaged himself World's Finest 180. I paid $8 for it. Pretty cool cover. I also got a Mr. Miracle number 4. Big Barda. First Big Barda for 12 bucks. I always pick those up when I see them. I got a Shang-Chi number 17. Now this, this is the first issue of his solo series. This picks up from uh, Marvel Special Edition number 16. It goes right into 17 as his first issue of a series. You can see right there, now in his own mag. So I got these all from the same dealer. And I picked up picked up this guy. Patsy Walker, number 121. Uh, paid $7 for it. And he said, what's so special about this? Well, it's just kind of an iconic cover in comics. The only reason I really know about it, I guess, is... Well, number one is Patsy Walker, which is not... Not uh, bad to pick up, but I've, I've always loved this Black Widow variant, Deadpool variant, and, you know, this is obviously the swipe of it, so I had to pick that up for 7 bucks. It's kind of beat. Surprised there's not more of them online. I think the last one only sold for a couple bucks, but there's really not many on eBay. How about this guy? Night Nurse number 4. What did I pay for that? Man. Seventeen fifty. I pretty much stole that one. That thing is colors on that thing are popping. 
Um, those are all from one retailer, so or dealer. Next, I got Gotham Academy number one, second print for three bucks. It's a it's a nice cover. It's the different artwork, second print, but it's got a cover rub on it. Pick these up for four bucks each. Spawn Gunslinger one seventy five and four. Uh, what, did I, what did I do here? Let's see. I forget how much I paid for these. Uh, oh, you know what? I paid about like a buck fifty each for El Diablo one and two. El Diablo from Suicide Squad. I got a pretty nice copy of Firestorm. Number three, first killer frost for three bucks. Picked up a, an okay action 521 first vixen for five bucks. And I did find, I was happy to get one of these Spider Man Deadpool for five bucks. First print. The cover price is four. I haven't checked it recently, but I know it was going for about 12. So I'm happy to get that. Picked up a Micronauts number one for two bucks. Um, these couple, I'm kind of surprised. I, they're doing okay. Flash, Secret Files, and Origins, number three. Paid $5. Also got the Iron Heights for 5 bucks, And I picked up a new X-Men 115 first uh, Megasonic for $2. And I think, so this one I got from, this was the only thing I got from a retailer. Batman 635. I had... A couple copies of it and I sold them for like I think I sold them for like 80 bucks when it first got real hot um, you know I kind of figured it wouldn't stay at that price so I sold them bought other comics that I wanted not upset to pay 30 for that Red Sonia number seven these I paid a dollar for uh, Adam Hughes cover pretty cool Adam Hughes cover kind of unknown Scooby-Doo. Now, I said last video, did I show you this one already? But I forgot, I, I got it at this show. So I actually got two of these, which these things are tough to find. The um, Sin City advertisement in it, Scooby-Doo number seven. There's another new Avengers number 35, just a regular cover, cool variant, or non-variant, cool Venom cover. All right, winding down here. These are all from the same seller. Got some uh, Spider Man 32 and 33, J. Scott Campbell 31 and a 50. Did not have 51 and 52, the Mary Jane covers. And basically, I got this thrown in for free because I think it was like uh, 10 for 10 bucks or something. And sorry, I'm just looking at the corner of this thing right down there but otherwise that thing is pretty sharp copy amazing spider-man 200 for uh basically for zero dollars all right that's about it i got one more i'll show you and keep a lookout for i got this at a local shop deadly hands of kung fu number 32 the first daughters of the dragon and now that they've announced misty knight for iron fist I think it's not too long before the team probably comes along. First appearance of the team. This is a, it's tough to find any of these, but uh, I don't. These things do sell online. P if people know about them, they're willing to pay for them. But I've found I've been lucky enough to find a couple in shops now because they haven't really caught on the mainstream. So I paid six bucks for that. Uh, definitely keep an eye out on, on that. So I think that's about it. Finally got caught up. Sorry, it's a long video. Um, appreciate you watching again thanks for everybody for subscribing and watching and I'll try not to be so long between my next one and in the meantime keep trolling those dollar boxes